right, just a quick video on how to do calculations with ticker tape strips. Now you should have a ticker tape strip um, that you'd normally get in your lab and remember that that ticker tape device goes up and down 50 times a second. Alright, so what does that mean? Well, in order to calculate speed, we need to know distance and we need to know time. Now the time is due to the ticker tape device itself. It goes up and down 50 times in one second. So we want to find out the distance that occurs between each dot. So if we divide both sides by 50, then that's saying that one time that it hits the page, or one dot, occurs in one fiftieth of a second. Now when you do 1 divided by 50, you get 0 0.02. So that's saying that each dot, or the distance between each dot, is 0 0.02 seconds. Okay, so the distance between here and here, not distance, the time between that dot and that dot is 0 0.2 seconds. Then the next dot, 0 0.2 seconds. Then the next dot, 0 0.2 seconds. Sorry, 0 0.02 seconds. So between each dot, and we'll just do that here, is between that time, right? 0 0.02. Then there's 0 0.02. So the distance between each dot is that time frame. So what you need to do with your ticker tape strip, of course, is count up how many dots you're going to do. So with this particular one here, I'm starting there, and I'm going to finish counting just there. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in terms of my time, all right, my time now that I'm going to be using, I'll do it over here, my time is going to be 6 times 0 0.02. Okay? Now, the handy, good old, dandy calculator will show you what that is. So we go 6 times 0 0.02 equals, and that is 0 0.12 seconds. Now, what we've got to do now, of course, is have a distance. And so we use our ruler to measure the distance or displacement between those two lines. And if we get the ruler here, we put that right in the middle. And let's see, that is, for my parallax error here, it's 9.567, probably 9.7 centimeters. So the distance is 9.7 centimeters. And we want to convert that to meters, so 9.70 as we divide that by 100, 0 0.097 meters. So now we have our two things we can put into our equation. So our distance is 0 0.097 meters. The time is now 0.12 seconds. And so now if we put this on the calculator, right, we've got 0 0.097 divided by 0 0.12 equals, and that's saying the speed that we have is 0 0.8 one meters per second. Right, so that's the speed of the pull, or if you attach it to a car or whatever it might be, that is the speed of those dots. Hope that makes sense. Watch the video in terms of acceleration because of course it gets a little bit trickier then.